Hi, it's Miriam with Engadget. I'm here with Val Meftikov of Electric Motorworks. Hi, Val. How's it going? Hi, great, great. Thanks for stopping by. So, you're doing electric car conversion kits, and specifically, this kit here is for the BMW 3 Series. Uh, tell me a little bit about what your company is trying to do and uh, the technology you're using. So, we're trying to bring the technology of electric cars closer to the public. So, as you know, most of the electric cars on the road today that are available are too expensive and uh, that's why not a lot of people buy them. So what we are doing, we're saying, hey, you can bring your car that you have already to us. Uh, we can convert it in two days and uh, this is going to cost you much less than the typical electric car that you can buy today. Right. And it's going to be faster. So what's different between that and some of the existing conversion companies and or the, you know, are you trying to make this available as a kit for perhaps for people to do it themselves as well? Yeah, we're trying to make it available as a kit so people can do it themselves. We're also uh, setting up a network of uh, installers right now that we would supply the kits and they would convert it for their customers. So for example, uh, tuner shops, speed shops out there. We're also uh, going to open our own locations where we would convert people's cars. Right. So let's uh, focus a bit on the technology here under the engine and the old engine bay. Um, so what do you have on top here? There are obviously these are lithium ion batteries. Yes, that's right. Le these are lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is a, one of the types of lithium iron batteries. Right. These are uh, what we call non-volatile technology. So uh, you can cut these batteries apart. Uh, if you get into an accident or anything happens to your car, they're not going to burn or explode. Right. Uh, so these are different from the batteries that you would find in your laptops, for example. So how many, how many kilowatts of battery do you have here? In this car, about 30, 35 kilowatt hour batteries, right. uh, which is sufficient for about 100 miles miles range right. on this car. It's a freeway range, so if you go 65 miles an hour, uh, this is going to go for 100 miles. Cool. Um, then what we have here is uh, just one pack here. Yep. There's a second pack under the controller here, and there's a third uh, pack in the trunk. In the trunk. And so that's your standard layout, more or less, for this vehicle, for a 3 Series BMW? Yes, that's right. That's right. We're also putting two sub-packs under the car. Okay. So that we lower the center of gravity and we also reuse uh, space to the maximum. So you have on, bo on board charger and motor controller, obviously, everything's on board, right? That's right. That's okay. right. Everything is on board. You can show the uh, charger. Um, it's uh, mounted in a trunk and the production version is going to be mounted under the car. Do you have uh, regenerative braking on this car at all? On this particular unit, no, but in the production vehicle we will have. Alright, cool. So we're now at the back of the car. Can you show us uh, what's typically installed in the back of the 3 Series? Right, so in the back, this is in the spare wheel area. This is a third pack, third major pack. So each of those packs are about 10 kilowatt hour packs. In this particular car, uh, this is a prototype. Uh, we have the charging system right here, which is a 12 kilowatt charging system. It recharges the car in two and a half hours uh, from a competitive outlet. This is a 60 amp circuit, uh, something similar to uh, a typical circuit you would find in the um, in your house for electric range, for example, right, electric right. home. And uh, there is also an auxiliary battery pack uh, that you see here, which in production module in production model it actually uh, will be under the car. Under the car, and that and that car that set up is a range of how much right now? About 100 miles. 100 miles. On and uh, you, you talked about a 180 mile range on one of your kits. And which one uh, would that be then? Right. So that would include uh, the way we kind of talk about 100 mile range kit is uh, nothing changes in the car. Right. Okay. So your trunk space is fully available. Your interior space is fully available. So you can you can use your car in the usual way. Right. If you're on maximum range, like 180 miles, then we start taking up the trunk space. Got it. So that's an option, basically. Right. That's an option. Um, as far as performance, what are we looking at on the on this on this car on this kit? Right. So this particular car is uh, uh, about 300 horsepower, uh, 300 foot-pound torque, uh, which is similar to the currently uh, selling BMW 335. Uh, yeah. The power is actually limited by the battery pack, not by the motor. The motor can go up to 500 horsepower. But uh, the battery pack that we have on this car will not be able to supply that. So uh, in a few months, uh, when we transition to the next generation battery, we'll be able to support that level of power. So are you using an industry standard charger plug or uh, are you yeah. using custom? Yeah, Can you absolutely. show me? So, uh, 
Here's the uh, J1772 charger plug. plug uh, we actually um, are able to charge from any level 2 charging station or level 1 for that matter, 110 volts as well. Awesome. We're now inside the car. So Val, tell us a little bit about this, uh, this tablet control. You're using a Motorola Zoom. Right. So uh, this is actually, uh, th this car can use any tablet or uh, phone that's Android capable. Yep. And it connects to the car computer that we built uh, through Bluetooth interface. So you can actually take this tablet and go inside your house and you can see you know, your car is charging and how much charge it took and all that. So it's got all the electronic, uh, all the electric uh, gauges here, so total power, amps you're drawing, volts, uh, fuel economy in equivalent MPG miles per gallon. So this car on a freeway is usually about 90 to 100 uh, miles per gallon equivalent. Wow. And, uh, this is a charge indicator, how, how much uh, charge you still have. There's a temperature indicator and there is uh, some digital readout. So how, how are you doing this? Are you actually, you're not interfacing with ODB, it's not something like that. You actually have a custom solution with the Bluetooth here, right? So yes, uh, the solution with the Bluetooth is our custom solution, but the computer that we built connects to uh, the main BMW computer through uh, ODB. Okay. CAN box. So it's a combination of the two? Right, 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 right. So basically, uh, our computer source some information from the BMW computer as well, like uh, distance traveled, and actually we are piggybacking on some of the engine management. Uh, so you're actually keeping the ECU from the BMW? That's right. Wow, so you're faking it to believe there's a gas combustion engine to in some here, extent, yes. to some extent yes, in your yes, software. That's yes. pretty fa fantastic. Yes. Um, tell me a little more about the, the Bluetooth. Why did you not choose maybe Wi-Fi? I mean, obviously Bluetooth is can go a good distance if you have the right radio, but it is a bit limited. Right. Right, it's uh, actually much easier and much cheaper to uh, for us to do that. Um, so that's why we selected it for this particular reason. Um, also, um, you know, with for Android, you don't have limitations on the um, uh, on the Bluetooth. Like for uh, iOS, uh, you, we would have to go Wi-Fi, but for Android, we don't have to. Right, that makes perfect sense. Um, so, other than the static display of gauges, what does the app do? So this version of the app uh, does the display of the gauges. Uh, we're working now on integration with the navigation. Okay. And the integration with the uh, actual, uh, you know, setting up the parameters of the of the ride. So there will be a, uh, an ability to uh, change from performance modes to uh, economy modes to some average type profile. Cool. So I also noticed that the two cars you have on display are stick shifts. Is that basically what you require for the conversion? No. We can do automatic. We can just. Uh, basically, whatever you have, uh, right. we can do. How do you uh, how, do you leave it in first gear? How does it work? So we uh, in the city, you normally use second gear actually. Oh, okay. And in the first gear, it will just spin the wheels. Yeah. Uh, it, will, it will be fun, but uh, so it's optimized for second gear. Right. For second gear in the city and on the freeway, we use fourth gear. So obviously, I drive stick, so it's not a problem. But uh, you don't need to use a clutch anymore, no. right? It's completely automated by the the throttle computer and everything. Uh, not really. You don't need to use this clutch because you don't. Have have any back pressure from right. the engine, right? right? So the motor is free wheeling. Uh, right, that's true. Shift, right? Um, so when sh when you shift, you may use a clutch or you may not. It just takes uh, maybe a second to shift if you don't use a clutch. So what uh, what recommended car do you suggest for this mod right now with the kit that so you're for presenting? Now, uh, this is based on the three series. The what BMW. year? It's a E46. Okay. Uh, make uh, they were made between 99 and uh, 2006. So it's pretty recent. So yeah, it's pretty. Recent. We're working on a 5 Series right now, and the next one will be a 3 Series and 5 Series uh, of the next generation, which is 2007 through 2010 or 2011, depending on Right on. Well, thank you so much for all the information, Val. Uh, last thing is, what is the cost of this conversion? Uh, depending on the range and performance parameters, we're talking about uh, starting at $15,000. And the availability, when will I be able to go online and buy the kit if I bring my own 3 Series car? Well, you can actually we're signing up first customers right now All right. Uh, on this show. Fantastic. This is Miriam Joy at the Maker Fair with Val from Electric Motor Works. Cheers. Thank you, Miriam.